call to order the 34th General Synod of the United Church of Christ here in the city of Indianapolis in the Indiana-Kentucky Conference. God, it's good to see you. As we gather today, I think it is fitting that we acknowledge the historic nature of this moment the first General Synod in person post-COVID, a saying farewell to our General Minister and President and an historic vote of our next leader, the consideration of significant resolutions that propel our beloved denomination to the forefront of defining issues of this moment. Oh, friends, what a synod it is going to be. But what my prayer is, is that what will be said of us after we leave this place is that those, those are the people who met in Indianapolis, Indiana, and they left to turn the world upside down. up right now in the name of Jesus. Give us the strength to stand against anything that would not celebrate that we are created in the image of the almighty God. As people of faith committed to environmental justice, we commit to praying and working towards faithful climate action and a more sustainable and greener world. For those of us who know better than, who know better but lack the courage to speak. Hear our prayers, O oh God, and help us move our feet. CWS partnered at UCC invited us to come in. They wanted to pack 1,200 menstrual hygiene kits today. These kits are um, distributed to homeless shelters, to the border shelters, to local immigration offices, and as requests come in throughout the U.S. What if the making of things new is really as far-fetched as the lying laying down with the lamb, where the past events won't be remembered, possibly because they are forgiven? that there will be no hurt or destruction on God's holy mountain because we are forgiven again and again in love and we are called to do the same. We are profoundly grateful for the ministry of our officers. I invite the whole church now to rise as you are able that we might pray for them. Gracious God, we thank you for the ministry of John Dorhauer, Tracy Blackman, and Karen Georgia Thompson, that we may walk faithfully together and grow in the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. Welcome to this loving space where Spirit invites all of us to be a part of beloved community. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to nominate the Reverend Dr. Karen Georgia Thompson as the candidate for General Minister and President of the United Church of Christ. You may cast your vote now. Voting is now closed. Yes, 626. No, 43. Abstention, 7. Karen Georgia Thompson, you have been elected General Minister and President of the United Church of Christ. This moment was paved by Reverend Yvonne Delk and the Reverend Dr. Barbara Brown Sigmund. 
You change lives over and over again, every day, everywhere around the world, and I am so proud of you. I give God thanks for you. And for eight years, this is what my life has been like, traveling and bearing witness to the embodiment and incarnation of your love in the world. So thank you. We cannot put on a general synod without the help and assistance of folks in the conference. So I wanna thank Chad Abbott. Our volunteers are just incredibly important. The local arrangements committee staff direct us and they tell us what to do. And so you need all the people to man all the stations or it would be chaotic. Trying to, you know, assemble this chair and contributing to this synod, you know, uh, for the mission of our church. The staff worked with the local arrangements committee this year and we've identified an organization called Exodus Refugee Ministries uh, where we're going to be donating this furniture. Uh, they help uh, resettle refugees from around the world uh, in the housing here locally in the Indianapolis area. I want to thank each of you for taking the time to listen to the financial report. There are so many dedicated and talented people working at the national setting and it is my privilege to share with you how those individuals use your donations, your gifts, and your support. These are the most talented, the most gifted, the most dedicated, the most hardworking, devoted people I have ever met. And they show up every day to make sure that you have what you need and that the mission of the United Church of Christ thrives. It has been moved that the General Synod adopt a national basic support allocation base of $3.67 million and $3.49 million, respectively, for the budget years 2024 and 2025. And the yes votes are 622, no votes are 14, and abstentions are 26. The motion carries. Senate has been amazing for the Open and Affirming Coalition. We've had several people to come by and to sign our mailing list, to take pictures on the selfie wall, to take out some free stickers, and to find out how their church can become open and affirming. Uh, we've talked to people about helping them through the process and starting the process at their church. Almighty God, you gift us with leaders who served in their time with faithfulness, love, and joy. We thank you for these leaders in our midst who have bequeathed to us a legacy of courage and hospitality and who are sources of great encouragement to us. Joining us for this 34th General Synod from our ecumenical family, our colleagues from our full communion agreements, other ecumenical partner churches, and ecumenical organizations. And I ask you to join me in welcoming them. It has been wonderful to visit and reconnect with partners and mission co-workers in their home communities since we resumed travel, and it is especially meaningful to have some of them among us for these days of General Synod. With me on stage welcoming these guests is the Reverend Lamarco Cable. Reverend Cable serves as the president of the Division of Overseas Ministries, and together we serve as the co-executives for Global Ministries which is the common witness of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ and the United Church of Christ. Join me in welcoming these partners to the United Church of Christ General Synod. A committee was appointed to develop a plan to identify, document, and preserve the history and legacy of the Afro-Christian heritage of the United Church of Christ, including writing the first book telling the story of the Afro-Christian Convention. Published recently by Pilgrim Press and edited by Yvonne Delk, you may order your copy from the Pilgrim Press because they've already sold out. We are people of joy. We are people of joy. 
we have found that one supportive person can shift the potential of death by suicide for gender diverse people. And so I will assume that one denomination supporting and affirming a person can turn things around. As a trans youth, I find almost nowhere in this world where I feel safe. And I need the UCC to be that place for me. Please vote in favor. Thank you. And we have 633 yes votes, 10 no votes, 6 abstentions. The motion carries. On behalf of Committee 11, I move that the 34th General Synod adopt the resolution to study and develop reparations proposals for African Americans and recommend approval as amended by the committee. The result is that we had 609 yes votes, 18 no votes, and four abstentions. The motion carries. Beloved, you are being asked to approve amendments to the United Church of Christ bylaws that change the term of the General Synod from two years to three years. You may cast your vote now. The bylaw amendments pass. I was not able to vote on the last resolution, and I would like to know how many other people could not vote. So out of an abundance of caution and an abundance of grace, we will re-vote on the bylaws question. You may cast your vote now. So, we need 453 yes votes for it to pass. We got 454 yes votes. Um, so, it passed. Reach out to your neighbor and repeat after me. We are rooted in God's love. Join the movement. This resolution seeks to do the following. It declares abortion as health care, full stop. It affirms everyone's right to this form of health care. And you may cast your vote now. And we have 611 yes votes, 24 no votes, 13 absten uh, abstentions. The motion carries. On behalf of Committee 8, I move that the 34th General Synod adopts the resolution encouraging a plant-based life and recommend the approval as amended by committee. And you may cast your vote now. We have 392 no votes. Sorry, yes, 392 two vo uh, no votes, 218 yes votes, 20 abstentions. The motion is defeated. The election of members to the United Church of Christ Board. You are electing 12 members who are one third of the at large membership. Voting is now closed. Yes votes 622, no votes 5, abstentions 26. You 12 members are elected to the United Church of Christ Board. In the name of Jesus Christ, and on behalf of the General Synod of the United Church of Christ, we rejoice to announce you are installed as moderators for the 35th General Synod. friend. Bob Sandman, we thank you for your service as moderator, and we present to you this ceremonial gavel that you might conclude our time together with such dignity. Thank you. Thank you.
It's an honor to stand before you today as we prepare to share an exciting announcement. We have the privilege of inviting each and every one of you to General Synod 35, which will be held in the vibrant city of Kansas City. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Mary. Kansas City, we believe, is the perfect setting for the next Synod gathering, where we will dive into the business of the United Church of Christ, greet old friends, and make new ones. I promise you, there are people out there waiting for the ministries already birthed inside of you. We just have to step out on faith so those people can find us, find the United Church of Christ, find a home in Christ. They're waiting for your ministries now. What are we waiting for? This is our United Church of Christ continuously growing, continuously renewing, continuously seeking the still speaking voice of a mighty God. God bless you all. And once again, a heartfelt welcome to our new family members.